everyone, my name is Tori, this is Novel Life, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a book haul to share with you. So I did recently go to Sweetgrass book signing that was put on by Southern Bells in Charleston, South Carolina, and that's where I got most of these books, but I also have ordered some books for myself, I received some PR packages, I received some gifts from friends, and I thought I would sit down, do a book haul for you guys, because you guys seem to love book hauls and just like are wondering what kind of books I get and why I buy them. Before we dive into the video though, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video and that is Megan Quinn. So Megan Quinn has a brand new book out, came out April 2nd. It is Bridesmaid for Hire. This is the first book in a new rom-com series. You know that Megan Quinn does rom com -y so well. And basically this is a brother's best friend, forced proximity, vacation romance. So I think it's like honestly perfect going into spring and summer specifically. And in this book, our female character is on vacation. You know, she's finally taken a vacation after busting her butt to kind of get her business in like an event, as an event planner by herself um, off the ground. And so while she's on this vacation, she hears that there's this wedding of the century there. And you know, she finds out that her brother's best friend, who she absolutely hates, after they had like a makeout session going wrong, like they tried it, did not go well, ended badly is also there because it is his boss's daughter's wedding and so she's like do i offer my services do i not like i came here just to relax and she said why not all for my services as as an event planner and you know if she needs a bridesmaid i'm a bridesmaid for hire we can i can do that too but she has to also pose as her brother's best friend the person that she hates girlfriend basically fake dating and we all know that the enemies to lovers fake dating Forced proximity, vacation, rom com -y that Megan Quinn does so well always hits for a good book. So, so there's a lot of things that happen, you know, like is he going to ruin her business? Is he going to out her secret? All of the things that happen in this book, you can pick up the ebook paperback or audio. However you read, it's available. Make sure you check out Bridesmaid for Hire by Megan Quinn. Like I said, first book in a new rom com series by her. So, I actually think this book is pretty. You guys know I love pink, but on the inside, when I opened up this package, I was like, oh my god, it's blue on the inside. It's very pretty. Perfect vacation summer read. So make sure you check it out. I'll have the link in the description box below for you guys. Now, on to the books. I have a couple of books that I am just honestly shocked that I received. Honestly shocked. Okay, so one is a full set of the Fallen Men collection. Oh my god. So at Sweetgrass, Gianna had like a pre-order for the whole Fallen Men series and it's this leather bound, looks like a motorcycle cut, like a cut that, you know, motorcycle riders wear. And she just told me, hey, I have a pre-order for you. Make sure you stop by my table. I always see her. And if you guys know my friend Jess at Pizza Books, she is on her team. She works for her in like author services. And I just always admire Gianna. I think she's an amazing writer. I've always loved her stuff. And so when I thought, I have a pre-order for you, I thought she was gonna be one book, you know. I just thought maybe one book, maybe maybe one book. Not the, oh my God, entire Fallen Men collection. And when I tell you, I, I definitely had tears in my eyes because I never expect things like this. And it was just honestly so nice. And I was like, Annette, who was her PA that was there helping her. I was like, I can't take this. She said, yes, you, yes, you will. And if you don't, Gianna's gonna get mad at you. So these are so beautiful. So. <sighs> Fallen Men. They all have the similar, they all look like this. It has Lessons in Corruption, which is the title of the book, and then King Kyle Guerrero, the name of the hero for each book, and has like the Fallen Men symbol. Like this is what it looks like. It's leather bound. Hardback has like a thing with a quote. Literally so pretty. And also the insides are the, the formatting of the women covers, which I have some women covers, but I don't have all of them. But yeah, these are just so pretty. So this is Lessons in Corruption. And if you're wondering, they're displayed behind me, um, but I had to take them down to show you. Welcome to the dark side. This one is so thick. Zeus. Good and Gone Bad by Lionel Danner. By Lionel Danner. That's Lionel Danner's book. After the Fall. Another King. Ink and Lies, which is the one I do have displayed because this is my favorite in the Fallen Men series. I love this book. Nova is so perfect. And then we have, oh my gosh, Dead Man Walking. I like this one because it has a knife and a peach you know you know and then the beautiful caution to the wind that just came out for axe man and then the back is um an axe with the her flowers that she, someone has decided to do the artwork so i apologize anyway the next thing that i got which i was honestly shocked so khadija over on instagram she also has a brand new booktube channel 
she is starting to get into book binding and you guys know Manicult was one of my favorite books of last year and she bound this beautiful book the whole thing she printed everything out and she gifted this to me with oh my god it has the origami has a quote on the back honestly this is so pretty and she had these pretty inside pages and I was honestly shocked because for her to gift this to me I mean if you don't know you cannot take like fanfic and bind it and sell it but she gifted it to me so I did not pay anything for this just want to put a disclaimer out there I don't want people to come for me in the comments but she was so nice to bind this and give me a copy so I display it like this on my shelf so I can see the paper crane oh my god it's so pretty oh. I don't think I will ever physically read this because it's too big to hold but oh my god having like a physical copy with like I think there's some yeah there's the there's like the photos in it oh my god that's in the original fanfic oh god, she even printed those out it's so cool anyway I'm very excited to have a physical copy now that this actually got picked up so the story will be changing but oh my god okay now I got some other special editions at Sweetgrass but the first one is Serpentine Valentine by Jana Darling. So this is her lovely strip of the month for March. So pretty. Um, this just came in. And it does have a little step back that I don't want to show you. But yeah, these are really cool. I also got these from Catherine Cowles. So I do work for Catherine Cowles. I'm new to her team. And she sent me her signing exclusives. I think these are from last year, if I'm not mistaken. But I didn't have them. So Shadows of You by Catherine Cowles. It has this, all the Lila June card, like, all the Lila June Co. Um, trope cards that she did at, with gold foiling, which is gorgeous. And then this one. I really like this. Fractured Sky. I love this book. This is my second favorite in the series. Shattered Sea is my favorite. Fractured Sky is my second favorite. So this is so gorgeous. Love that one. So those she just sent me out of, and I forgot, I think I didn't put them in the last book haul that I did. But these are all the special editions I got at Sweetgrass. So along with the fall of mint. Okay. Lessons in Corruption by Jana Darling. This was from Eternal Embers. This was in a box. I did not get the full box. So I didn't like all of the books in there, but they had extras and I bought this one. I mean, I have to have all of Gianna's books. Okay. I got Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. This one is slightly damaged. And so they had like, if it's damaged on the bottom, like just a little bit, this does not bother me, honestly. Um, beautiful sprayed edges. I wanted to get this. A lot of people said, that they liked this book. So I got the audio because it was $1.99. If you download it in KU, the audiobook's only $1.99. So I hope to be listening to that soon. But I got that edition and it's, it was very pretty. I love Oh, I didn't show you the inside of it. The inside is what got me. So I like the collage with like the photos. Oops. But the inside has this too. And I thought that's cute. I did not get Megan Brandy to sign this because she did not have any wristbands. So then I got a home run proposal by Marianne Moore. So I wasn't going to buy this because I haven't read this book yet. But one, it takes place in New Orleans. And you guys know I'm from Louisiana. Love that. But I saw this in person when I was in her line because Jess wanted to see her. I like the foiling. It's pink. But it has that on the inside, which is cute. Like that's adorable. But as you keep flipping the pages, it has the original cover graph, like the art that's on the original cover, which is pink. And they have this cute little thing. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. Who knows? I'm probably gonna love it. A lot of, just loved it. Chrissy liked that. So, you know, usually if they like it, I'm gonna love it. Now, I did get Love Me Today by A.L. Jackson. I just wanted to have this edition. I thought it was very pretty with the foiling. Um, I have read the second book in this series, not this one. This is the first book. Really like the second one. I want to go back and read the first one because I like the second one so much. So, very excited for that. And then Hello Lovely had this exclusive edition that I picked up. What was meant to be by QB Tyler. This is also gonna be at a Polycon, but I love. I love this cover. It's very elegant, fits the book so well. It's one of my favorite QB Tyler books. Okay, my stack is getting a little, a little high. Okay, and the last, I think, special edition I got from Sweetgrass, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think I missed any, is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. So this is an Eternal Embers exclusive. They did have Part of Your World, but I personally like this book more. I think Zachary Weber narrated this perfectly. I love the purple how pastel it is. I don't know. I just, I really like this, but it's like trade paperback. It's very cool. It's very cool how it is on the inside, but I'm very glad that I got this. Um, I bought this new. I don't think they had damage. Okay. Now onto the books that either I bought myself, got as gifts. Let's go ahead and jump in. Cause I don't want this book called to be ginormous. I don't want this book called to be so long. Okay. Saving Sex by, by Chloe Walsh. You guys know I'm collecting these, the ombre spines. I still have to get Redeeming Six and Taming Seven is coming out. So 
I gotta catch up. Anyway, I got that one just to add to my Chloe Wash collection behind me. Um, we went to Buxton Books in Charleston and I bought Infinity Alchemist by Case and Calendar. I do want to read this at some point. Um, I have to see if my audio, if my library has the audio, but I liked this because, oh, they put a little bookmark in there. That's cute. Um, it has, it's YA, it's YA fantasy, but that's really cool. They had that, which is what sold me and they have that on the cover. So I love it when there's art. I'm very intrigued by this. I really liked, uh, Case and Calendar's book, contemporary book last year. I think that's all the art they have. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to get this book because I'm actually very excited for it. I did get an Afterlight of the exclusive editions that Afterlight does. I think they do every month now. This was my first Afterlight box, which is Fangirl Down by Tessa Bailey. I did read it. It was cute. It was okay. Not my favorite, Tessa Bailey, but you know, it was adorable. Golf romance. Um, I just wanted to read it. Oh, look, that's so cute. It was cute. It was enemies to lovers. She is type 1 diabetic, which is really cool. I have Wells's, Wells's Bell. That's cute. I don't know. I think they do a really good job with their editions. So I'm glad I read that one. I gifted it myself where we started by Ashley Munoz because I really love this book. I did read the second one. Not my favorite. Um, not as much. I didn't like it as much as this one, but I still like the series. Um, that one it was just truly hate to love while this is more like enemies to lovers. Um, hate to love doesn't always do it for me. So I'm a friends to lovers girly. Anyway, I was sent this, that first flight by Jen McMahon. Um, she sent me this PR package. I said, she sent me an arc of it. And I said, I don't know if I can read it before release day. You know, totally like, totally fine if you don't want to send me anything because I can't guarantee it. She's like, no, I'll still send you the paperback. I do actually have the first book in this series out on Hoopla, the audiobook. I don't know if this one has an audiobook or when it's coming out. Okay. The next book I got was Visions of Flesh and Blood by JLA. I don't know when I'm going to read this. I don't know. I think this is just more of an explanation of the lore, a little bit more, um, you know, just like explanation of like histories. And I feel like she did this because a lot of people were hella confused with a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of actually like graphics and, um, oh no. Oh my God. I thought I messed it up. There's like a lot of graphics like that, graphics, photos and stuff like that. <laughs> That's cool like character art and stuff, which I, I do, I do think for a traditionally published book, that's cool. <gasps> this is not signed. Oh, this is a digital signature. I was like about to freak out for a second. It's a digital signature. That's really cool. And it's told, I do want to get the audiobook because it's told by Miss Willa Collins. So the inside has like the blood red forest. The outside has this pretty, you know, I think this was the Barnes and Noble exclusive, exclusive edition, if I'm not mistaken. No, I don't actually think so. I think this is from Amazon. I think they ordered this from Amazon. Anyway, I love JLA. I wanted to collect that. Now, another book I got um, that came in from Blackstone was Magnolia Parks Into the Dark. Is this Into the Dark? Yeah. Um, I did read this. It was a good conclusion to the story, but this book is ginormous compared to my other ones. Like, if I stood up next to it, it's like three inches taller, and that makes me mad. But I wanted Jess's covers because I personally love these covers. Um, my friend Samantha gifted me this book recently. I've been going through, it's just, it's just been going through it, okay? Uh, Vampires of Eden Book One by Carla Nicole. I love Carla Nicole. I think, one, she has the most beautiful covers. I mean, look at this fucking cover. But also, I love her lore. I love the way she tells the story. And I am currently like 20% into the way through this. But I wasn't feeling paranormal romances, so I paused it. But... I am very excited for that. I did get a Fate Inked in Blood. I saw this at Target. Yeah, Target, because it has this stupid ass sticker I gotta take off. But I missed the pre order with the sprayed edges. So when I saw it, I was like, I need to have it, please. I mean, it's a very cool, like I said, embossed, you know, cover. Nothing like super spectacular other than the sprayed edges, but I did think it was like cool that it's metallic. I'm reading this for an exclusive Patreon reading blog in April. You can join watch it over there oh my god I still have another stack this book I picked up at McKay's a while ago I don't know why honestly thinking back I'm like why did I get it I, that's the third book in a series I'm never gonna read it little life uh I DNF this book at like 40 percent I have a whole reading vlog you can go check it out if you want I have lots of thoughts I was sent the Paris roommates by Ava Miles um this is um Dean's book so the second book in the series bunch of Paris roommates bunch of roommates that were previously like obviously rooming together when they were younger. They've come back to Paris and that's their stories. Now, I did get Powerless by Lauren Roberts because I do want to read this, but I've been putting it off. But I got that one. I ordered that one. Oh, Trope of the Month for February was Sinful Vow. Or Vows. Vow? Vow. By Asia Monique. I really like this cover. 
but very pretty. The original cover is man, so they wanted to do female for that. Then I got The Reason I Married Him by Megan Quinn. This was one of her indie published books, I think back in March. Got that one. Um, I wanted to order this because I do love Loving Romeo and I love these covers. So I think I'm going to collect these covers and not the couple covers just because I think these are really cool. But Magnolia Falls, Loving Romeo. I did get My Dark Desire by Parker S. Huntington and L.J. Shen. The audiobook is out. So I think I'm going to use a credit to listen to the audiobook of this. Because physically reading for me has been a little bit harder. But I do love that cover. And then I was sent three books by from Berkeley. I, I am on their influencer program. So they do send me like two or three books every single month. And I got these books. And this one I was not expecting to, to show up. Only and Forever by Chloe Lee. This is the last book in the Bergman Brothers series. I'm extremely sad. I'm going to be reading this soon. But I'm so sad that the Bergman Brothers series is going to be over. But I'm excited to have this one. I got Harper St. George's new book. Uh, the first book in a new series. Um, I don't think this is an art copy. Is this an art copy? No, this is a finished copy. Um, the Stranger I Wed. Chrissy read this. She said it was cute. Three and a half stars. So I'll probably pick it up when I'm in the mood for historicals again. This one I'm actually really excited for. One, this cover is freaking gorgeous. The Kiss Countdown by Etta Easton. This is a event planner and an astronaut. Tell me that doesn't sound so freaking cute. And it's relatively short. I did place a hold for the audiobook in my library. Okay. The last book I bought myself, which I was supposed to read in March, and I did not was Kingdom of Claw by Demi Winters. This is the second book in the series, the Ashen series. Um, this is more of like a Viking kind of romance. Like, um, oh my god, what is the mythology? Oh, what is the mythology? I can't remember the mythology. Anyway, I, I want to wait for the audiobook to come out because I physically read the first one and listened to the audiobook and that really worked. But this one's not coming out until July. So I think I'm going to hold off on that. I was a little ambitious about reading this physically because this is a... 600 page book <laughs> anyway that is my book haul that i have to share with you i really hope you enjoyed make sure you check out bridesmaid for hire by megan quinn it's her new release out now i'll have the link in the description box below for you forced proximity fake dating vacation all of the goodness enemies to lovers all of that so make sure you check out this book in the description box below that's all i have for this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe for more content for me as always, I hope you're living a novel life, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.